Again, I look the same because I'm filming this all at once, trying to food prep, meal plan, cook a bunch of meals every week and film videos about them is proving to be a lot, but I'm really glad I'm doing it because I'm definitely seeing how manageable it is. My fridge is so full of food. My only concern, like I'm about to go grocery shopping after I film this, my only concern is that I might waste food because all of these recipes are making so much food for me that are so filling. Um, and then I have other stuff that I was buying because I didn't know, I didn't think these would be enough for a full week, which they're not. I need a couple other meals here and there, but I don't need that much more. Because, okay, so I filmed the breakfast and the lunch and that was eight servings of food. And then the cookies, I mean, let's be real, I eat those for breakfast and for snacks and there were 18 cookies. And so that was several portions. Um, you know, cause at most I would eat two cookies at a time. So that, they lasted me a long time. Um, and these cookies guys had a third cup of maple syrup, organic, a third cup of almond butter and unsweetened dark chocolate chips and a can of white beans. You just grind up the soft ingredients, add the chocolate chips, put it on parchment paper and pop it in the oven. I was a little nervous at first. I wasn't measuring with a proper measuring tool because I don't really have one. I was just eyeballing it. Um, I don't have all the measuring cups you need. Um, and I haven't this whole time and I've been cooking and eyeballing it and it's been fine. I know the general idea of how much that is, you know? So I was concerned that they looked a little too uh, soft. It wasn't, it was a more liquidy texture and cookie dough I'm used to being more solid. But yeah, they just stayed in their form. They expanded a little bit and they cooked just fine. And that was exciting. They're not as sweet as a normal chocolate chip cookie and they are breadier in texture, which I don't really like the texture as much, but just give me a cup of coffee and one of these cookies and I'm good. Like my cookie craving is satisfied by that combination. It was really good. And my boyfriend felt totally free to eat these cause that's all that was in it. Now, maple syrup, is that really the best thing for you? Maybe not, but it's better than a normal chocolate chip cookie. It's so much better than a normal chocolate chip cookie that I don't even want to get into a debate about that because let's be real, guys. Um, let me, for example, read you these nutrition facts. So the third cup of almond butter maple syrup plus the can of beans and the dark chocolate chips made 18 cookies that were 60 calories each. 5% fat, 3% sodium, 2% carbs, 2% potassium, 4% fiber, 5 grams of sugar, 4% protein, 4% calcium, 3% iron. There's, there's nothing wrong with these cookies. Compared to a normal cookie, this is totally fine to eat. That's exciting! I'm really excited about that! Ah! So I might actually be changing what I make the last week of this, I kind of want to do another dessert now because I really liked these two desserts and they were the only two I was planning on doing this month and I don't know, I really like this experience of doing that. The other thing that is awesome is I only spent 89 cents to make these cookies because I already had the almond butter, the maple syrup, and the dark chocolate chips left over from other recipes that I made like the black bean brownies recipe. Now that recipe had cost me over $20. So now it's like, okay. So averaged out the recipes I bought for the black bean brownies and the recipes that the ingredients, I mean, that I bought for the cookies together, they averaged about $10 per recipe. So it's not like amazingly cheap, but it is something that pays off over time. I still have a bunch of maple syrup. I still have some almond butter. I probably could make another batch of this. I have some dark chocolate chips. So it, it, it balances out. It spreads out over time, which was the goal. And it's kind of cool to see my budget for my groceries changing. Cause the first week, yeah, I spent about $20 on the black bean brownies. I spent $20 on a couple recipes and now I'm spending like $4 on recipes 
that have eight servings because these are all items that share ingredients and you're not wasting ingredients like I would always do with other recipes. Like I have this jar of red curry paste that I needed maybe like two teaspoons of for a recipe and now I have the whole jar and no other recipes to use it in and it's just gonna go to waste. So that really was like five or six dollars that I spent just for two, two teaspoons of a seasoning that I'm never gonna use again. This is all stuff that has key ingredients in common. Rice and beans, nutritional yeast even. I'm really excited, it's been cool. So yeah, I only spent 89 cents on that this week. I spent more on it overall, but this week I only had to spend 89 cents because I already spent that money and I'm using what I have, not being wasteful. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys tomorrow.